What's up guys? So recently I did a video um, taking the rust off of this little carbon steel opener and it's time to sharpen it. So we're going to go ahead and check out this uh, work sharp. This is the manual sharpening kit. All right, so I'm going to break right into it and uh, see what we got. A lot of people had commented said they were interested in looking into this kit. One of the advantages uh, of this, obviously, is you can go really slow when you have an electric system. And the other WorkSharp, the actual belt-driven ones, uh, they're awesome. They're really cool. However, when you get into something like that, uh, if you mess up, it messes up way worse because it, it, you know, it's constantly, obviously, rotating. When you're doing something slowly by hand, you can really focus on it and you have less of a, a chance of screwing something up. So the first uh, bit of advice is when you take these pieces out, don't throw out the box because there's no like storage bag that comes with this. This container is your storage. Now, if you have a dedicated spot like a, a workshop or garage or something, uh, then obviously you just keep it assembled. But for the people who don't, just a little tip. All right, so here are our parts. There's four parts here. All right, we have, of course, our instructions. Leave a review. All right. And then this piece came out of here originally it basically says uh, you will be creating incredibly sharp knives handle with care for optimal maintenance store this sharpener with this card uh, inside of the v-block clamp all right so we're not using you should put this back in there for storage all right so we'll put that off to the side here leave those instructions handy just in case this piece here basically just snaps into the base so Push down, it's snapped in. This is obviously the clamp for our knife, which we'll do in a moment. And then once we have it clamped in, we're going to put this up here into that spot. And then this is our actual guide rod, okay, that's going to house the, the sharpener. All right, so this rotates here. These pieces click in, in place. So we have a basically a triangle shaped uh, rod system. So this is a 320 grit, okay, and you can rotate back to the 600 grit or to the ceramic stone, okay. Now in this particular case, I don't know exactly how sharp this is. Um, it's not, it's not too, I mean, some spots are a little more dull than others. Um, but I think what I'm going to do for this is we're going to go past the 320. I'm going to start on the 600 and then we'll go to the ceramic, all right? And then we'll, we'll check it and see if it's sharp enough. So this is a really simple system. Let me go ahead and clamp this knife in first. So we're loosening this bolt, or not a bolt, but you know, this piece here. And this opens up, okay? And then what you wanna do is obviously clamp in your knife, all right? And there's uh, little pads here. So it's kind of like, let me zoom in so you can see that a little better. The pads are basically like, you know, squishing the side of the blade so you're not going to damage your, your finish. If you have a high polished blade or something like that, you don't have to worry about it too much. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put it in to there. I'm just going to lock it down. Okay, and this is obviously hand tight. You want this to be as tight as you can with your fingers there. Okay, so it's not going to easily wiggle or move. All right, zoom back out. And it is this simple, this system. Okay, there's two little tabs on the sides here that slide into these, these little guided areas. So let me zoom in. See these, these things poking out on the side? That's where these go into. Okay, so they basically go right into the slots on both sides. So now we're going to come in. All right, this just basically rests in there. I think it's a, a magnet. All right, there's a little bowl joint. So it goes just like that. And you're going to come in and you're going to... You know, sharpen, do your thing. And then all you have to do, you can take this out temporarily, is pull this out and switch it to the other side. It's really, and you shouldn't do it the way I'm doing it, because if you push forward, obviously you hit that edge. But that is it. So you can very quickly transfer from one side to the other to do your work. Now on the back here, they recommend pushing this. If you push this piece in, okay, it, it kind of moves just a little bit. It just makes it a little easier, I guess, to get out. I, I obviously don't have to use it because um, you can see I'm struggling with it here. 
I don't think that's necessary. All right, I think I just pull it out and push it back in. Um, but obviously you want to follow the, the instructions. All right, and so what you want to do is on top here, there's a little screw, and this is what is going to change the edge angle. All right, so depending on what angle you're looking for, and if you're totally new to knives and you have no idea about angles and grinds and all that stuff, there is a guide in the instructions, which I'll show you in a second, to, to set this to what you need it to be. But as I turn this, it's going to either go up and down to either make a, a wider or a leaner edge. Okay, for this open all, I think what I want to do is I'm going to bring, because I'm changing the, uh, the angle of the edge here completely. I'm going to go down to, um, I mean, here's 20. So if you look on the right side, it'd be like 19, 18, 17, 16, and 15. So you can see the increments in between are on the right. All right, so 25 to 30, you look at the right for that for reference. I'm going to go, I don't know if I want, I don't want 15. I want like, yeah, let's do 17. All right, so I'm right there. I'm two notches up on the right. So 15, 16, let me use this as a, a pointer. 15, 16, 17. That's where we're at. We're at 17 degrees. All right, that's where I'm going to make this uh, edge here. All right, so let's back this out. Let's put this in. We're going to start with this side. And uh, there's little rubber pieces on here, okay, which do slide back and forth. Now, as far as these nubs go, you can set these. All right, at the top one, I don't see any reason why you'd set it all the way down, unless you don't want much movement. You're more doing a, a side to side, you know what I mean, like sweeping across like this. Uh, with their very little back and forth, but I don't mind using the entire length of the stone here. But what I do want to do is I want to set it so that I don't go off the stone. So I'm going to set it to here, okay? So that means it will not accidentally push off the stone. If this is set all the way down and I'm sharpening, I could actually just go off, which is not a big deal if you go off, but if I go back up, it's obviously going to jam into the edge, all right? So what I want to do is just hold that there. That's as far as I want this to be able to travel. So I'm going to push this little rubber piece up to there. All right, that's again, just going to ensure that I'm not going to accidentally run off the, uh, the edge. Now I'm only, I'm lifting and dragging down. I guess you could, you could go up as well, if you, especially if you're first starting. But I would just do this same technique. You know, or you can just follow the instructions. I'm more of a hands-on type person. If I have problems, I'll go revisit instructions. But as far as sharpening goes, I've done everything. At the end of the day, all we're doing is we're sanding off metal to get a nice lean edge. All right, so that should be enough for one side. We can go ahead and just pop that out and flip it over. It's that simple. Now we can do the other side. The angles are all lined up exactly where they should be. Everything should be good to go. I can get this to, there we go, find the hole there. <laughs> All right, so same thing. Now I'm just doing the opposite side. I'm just keeping a nice consistent angle. If you notice, when I push down, the actual system flexes a little. It's hard, let me stabilize that. So this side is against the table here. I don't know if you could tell as I'm as I'm sharpening, but there's a little bit. Let me pop this out. There's a little bit of movement up and down with this. It's it's very minimal, but it does flex. Okay, so it's important to not push down really hard because that will change the angle. Um, I don't think it's going to be a big deal here at all, as long as you just go a little lighter when you're doing your passes. Like don't push down really hard. You should really just use the weight of this arm here in this piece. But it is keeping a very consistent angle, which I can see. I'm just going to repeat this process back and forth. Um, at this point, I'm going to switch back over to the ceramic now. All right. So rotate this until it locks. Now I have the ceramic side. Pop this back in there. And just repeat the process. So, I mean, it's really straightforward. All right, so another uh, quick tip is do not remove this from the clamp until you do a quick cut test. 
Um, just because if I take this off and, and do my cut test and I don't like it, I want to put it back on. I want to make sure this is in the exact same position. So I'm not even going to take it off, all right? Because if this is further in or further out, that may change the, uh, the angle. So let's go ahead and give this just a quick little test. Sharp. Is it sharp enough? Yeah, I think so. I do want to strop it up. Um, let me go ahead and do that real quick. Actually, let me take this off first so you guys can see. Just going to rotate that the opposite direction to loosen it. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put this little card back in. Where did I put that? Since they recommend it for storage. Little card back in. All right, tighten that up. And I do want to strop this real quick. Let's take a look at this before I do. Zoom in nice and tight, get the light on there. So you can see the, the edge maybe reflecting. Kind of hard to show that. But yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a nice, thin, sharp edge. But it can definitely be just a hair better with some stropping. But I'm not even going to shut the camera off. I'm going to literally leave because it's you know a few feet away, my uh, strop. So hang in there. I'll talk to you while I'm while I'm gone. So let's see how long this takes from now. And I'm walking. I'm in the other room. I'm over here. Let's see. I talked the whole time. One pass. Two pass. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. On one side. Now I'm doing the other side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten on the other side, and I'm going to go back over, one, two, three, and flip it over, one, two, three. And that should be it. So I'm walking back here. I'm talking the whole time, so you know I'm not editing this. And there it is. Okay. Whew. Sounds kind of dumb. It's constantly talk. So, now we should be good. I did ten, ten passes on one side, ten passes on the other, flipped it back, three passes, very late pressure, flipped it over, three passes, and we are golden. All right, now we have a nice razor, razor sharp blade. So simple. And you can see it, it's a little more reflective now because it was polished up from the strop. See that edge? That light kind of rolling across. But yeah, so super usable knife. It is back in business. To be honest, I mean, the rust was not a good thing. It was certainly not purposeful, uh, but it kind of looks cool. I mean, the knife is broken in, it, it, you know, when she first got it and first started using it, it was brand spanking new and uh, nice and shiny and all that. And now, now it just looks like it, it's been around the block. You know what I mean? It has been. Uh, it's, it's forced wear, I suppose. Um, so if you want to leave your, your open all out and you don't mind getting all that rust uh, after the fact, it, it's kind of cool looking, to be honest. Um, but no, I'm just, I'm kidding. Don't do that. Uh, you should definitely maintain your knives. This one happened to be in an area that was supposedly dry, but apparently not. Had just enough little moisture in the air, a little bit of humidity, and uh, unfortunately started to rust. So yeah, there it is. Pretty cool. We're back in business with a nice razor sharp open all. Love it. So yeah, hoping to go camping soon, and this one will definitely come in handy now that it is nice and sharp. So let me go down in the comment section if you guys have this work sharp system, what you think of yours. Um, is there anything that you have learned by using it for a long period of time? Again, I'm going to keep using this on and off all the time. And maybe I'll do an update down the road, but I'm pretty impressed with it thus far. So it's pretty cool and uh, reasonably priced as well. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you tomorrow in a brand new video. Take it easy.